Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new series, baby! We're hitting up a new game and it is Smackdown Shut Your Mouth. I don't think I've ever even played this one. I was looking through and I played an exhibition match, I'm like... I don't think I ever even played this one. I think the first one that I really got into on the PlayStation was Here Comes the Pain. Uh, so I, this is gonna be kind of new. This is gonna be kind of new for me. So this will be pretty interesting. If you guys are excited, remember to leave that thumbs up and now we have to decide who we're gonna be using in this playthrough. And I was thinking about it, and a few names came to my mind. I wanted to use Kevin Nash, but for some reason, Kevin Nash is not usable. I assume he's a big part of the story or something like that, so you can't use him. But we can use anybody else here. Um, and I think we're going to use... Um, let's do Eddie Guerrero. I think that would be pretty fun to do. So, yes, I would love to use Eddie Guerrero. And now we are going to hop right in to SmackDown. Shut your mouth and see what this game is all about. You think you're ready for a title shot? You'll need to check with the owner. You can find it. Ooh! Good evening! Tonight we will witness the first ever World Wrestling Entertainment Draft. Oh, we get to do a draft? Vince McMahon will represent SmackDown, and Ric Flair will represent Raw. Both Mr. Flair and Mr. Meek Mahan will take turns picking superstars for their respective brand. The entire roster will be available for selection during the draft. In the interest of time, only 20 picks will actually be made live tonight. A lottery will be held immediately after Raw to determine the placement of the rest of the roster. If you would like to skip the initial draft, press the circle button at the top 10 draft select screen. The undisputed champion is not eligible to be drafted, and due to a contractual clause, Stone Cold Steve Austin is not eligible to be drafted either. Okay, so undisputed champion and Stone Cold can't be drafted. Some superstars don't take part in the draft because of injury, and thank you for your time this evening. And best of luck to all the WWE superstars. Do we actually get to- Oh, we actually get to- Are we drafting, like, for real? Raw or SmackDown? Um, we're Eddie. Let's do SmackDown. Are you sure? I am so sure, Linder McMahon. We got Vince out here, okay. Since I, Vince McMahon, Defeated Ric Flair in the coin toss. <laughs> something, something. So on behalf of WWE SmackDown, I, Vince McMahon, choose. Oh, so I legit get to choose 10 people. Okay. So, wow, that puts a lot on my shoulders really quick. I did not expect that. So we have to select 10 people. Hmm. I mean, we can't get the undisputed champion. Who are the rest of the champions? William Regal is the European champion. We need to get champions. Rob Van Dam is the Intercontinental Champion. Lance Storm is the Tag Team Champion. Hurricane's the Cruiserweight Champion. I don't know, maybe Christian's the Tag Team Champion. Okay, so it's like the Un-Americans are the Tag Team Champions right now. Bradshaw's the Hardcore. I, you know, maybe we pick like, an, like, a, a, like a legacy character, you know, like an older dude to kind of center the show around. You know, we, we, can, we can put championships somewhere. Um, maybe we... Huh, this is a hard choice. First pick. You know, I'm gonna go with, uh, we're gonna go Kurt Angle. I think that's a solid first pick. Who's gonna be the first pick in this historic moment? Kurt Angle! <laughs> yes. Now let's see who Ric Flair decides to pick for his brand. I have decided to pick a man who is the cornerstone of the WWE, my number one draft pick for WWE Raw is... Brock Lesnar. I knew it. I was either going to pick Brock or Kurt, but I'll take Kurt as a number one slot. I'm okay with Kurt, you know, being on SmackDown. That's a, that's a good pick for me. So now we get to pick our second person. For my second pick, I choose... <sighs> top 10... Maybe we should go with three, like, super good talents to center the show around. I would rather do six, but I think we'll probably run out of people eventually. Um, well, I guess I should probably pick myself, but I don't think, um, I don't think that he'll, well, I don't know, maybe he'll pick Eddie Guerrero next, who knows? Uh, let's see who we got here. Um, Rob Van Dam would be a solid pick, but I don't know if he's a number two pick with who's left on the board here. You know, you have, uh, you got people, you got Benoit, Jericho's a solid pick. Christian. DDP is a super, like, that's a sleeper pick. I'm trying to think who Ric Flair would pick. 
so like I can try to undercut him a little bit. Jeff Hardy is a solid pick. Um, this is overdrive, Randy Orton. You can take him. <laughs> it ain't RKO, Randy Orton. You can take him. Um, let's. Uh, I'm just. Intercontinental Champion, we'll take Rob Van Dam as our second pick. That's right, Rick. We're taking RVD. My man. So who is he going to counter pick with? This is interesting. I like this a lot, actually. My second pick goes to the next star of WWE Raw. And who is that going to be? I mean, you know... I'll take Rob Van Dam. I got an idea of what I want SmackDown to be. I don't think The Rock really fit in anyways. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. So we have the Intercontinental Champion now on SmackDown. Who do we pick next? If I don't pick Benoit right now, Rick will pick Benoit third. I can almost guarantee it. I can almost guarantee it. I'm looking at the name on, these, on this board here. And if I don't pick Benoit... He'll pick Benoit, and if I don't, and if I pick Benoit, he'll probably pick Jericho. But I kind of want Jeff Hardy, but I don't think Jeff and Matt are like top five picks. Actually, they might be. We have to take Chris Benoit. Yeah, we have to. We absolutely have to take Chris Benoit. Because if we don't take it, Rick's gonna take it. The next person who represents the SmackDown brand is Chris Benoit. So we'll go ahead and pick him. And now he'll pick Chris Jericho. Watch. There's no way he doesn't pick Chris Jericho. I pick Albert. I would like to introduce my next pick. His name is... Kane! Kane! You didn't pick... Look how happy Kane is! He's like, ah, I can't believe it! Wow, I really thought he would pick Chris Jericho. Brock Lesnar, The Rock, and Kane. Kurt Angle, Rob Van Dam, and Chris Benoit. Wow. I mean, Jericho is like a, I can't believe he's still on the board kind of pick here. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Like I said, Randy Orton is not really like a super killer pick here because it's overdrive. I mean, Booker T is a solid pick too. Let's see, but I'm, I'm thinking between Jericho and Jeff Hardy. Uh, who who left on the board would he pick before Jeff Hardy? Um, we'll go with Chris Jericho. I think Chris Jericho is solid. Yeah. The next person is Chris Benoit again. <laughs> you already picked him. Got him twice. Who would he pick out of that list? I'm trying to think. I mean, DDP would be a solid pick, even though I don't feel like his overall is that great in this game. The Raw brand is proud to announce his next draft pick. Ah, Booker T. We just talked about Booker T. That's a good pick. They did a good job there. Oh, yeah. My man's like, oh my goodness. He was not ready to go to Raw. So we got Angle, Van Dam, Benoit, Jericho. This is not a bad SmackDown. And he doesn't have a bad Raw. Okay, this time we're taking Jeff Hardy. I want Jeff Hardy this time. I guess we need to take Matt Hardy too. The next person who represents the SmackDown brand is actually maybe Jeff. Maybe we keep Jeff as a singles guy. Maybe we keep Jeff as a singles guy. Maybe we don't draft Matt Hardy. But who does Ric Flair end up drafting here? For Raw to truly be Raw, I have to pick this superstar next. Ah! I knew Edge would go, man. Damn it, I wanted Edge. Well, we could pick Christian. Jerk. Um, maybe we go with ourselves to make sure we get drafted to SmackDown. We go with Eddie Guerrero. Yeah. The next person who represents a SmackDown brand is... 
Daddy Guerrero! Do I get a sweet little thing in the background where I'm like super happy? No, I guess not. Okay. Now, who does the nature boy pick here? Who's next? Who's going who's going to Raw? I'm trying to think of the board and who's left up there. We were gonna pick Christian! Damn it! <laughs> Do they get a double pick because they picked the tag team champs or something? What the fuck? I should take Lance Storm just out of... Just, just to be a butthole about it. Is Lance Storm still up here? They went together because they were... T I didn't know it was a double pick. If I knew it was a double pick, I would have picked it before Eddie Guerrero. Come on now. All right, who's left on this board that we could take? DDP is a super... Billy... I'll take DDP. DDP, baby. Put my man on the board. On behalf of WWE SmackDown, I choose DDP. Self high five. Absolutely. That's a solid choice. We got a pretty good, I mean, we have like a, we have a pretty, pretty good roster right now. I think that he'll take, I mean, Randy Orton seems like a, pick that I would hear from from Ric Flair yeah for raw to truly be raw yeah we know I have to pick this superstar next big show no, I can't believe yeah that's an interesting pick he probably fits in more on raw than he does on our Smackdown um, so we have angle Van Dam, Benoit Jericho Hardy Guerrero DDP do we take Matt Hardy or do we take Bradshaw because he has the Hardcore Championship? Do we take Matt? To G Taz? Mm. You know what? We'll take Matt Hardy. We'll go ahead and take Matt Hardy. I wasn't sure if I wanted to, but looking at the board, I think that that's probably the best pick for us is to get Jeff and Matt on the same roster. So, uh, sure. Matt Hardy over to SmackDown. He'll probably... I'm thinking he's he's picking a lot of bigger dudes. I'm thinking Mark Henry might be next to go to Raw. Let's see what he decides to do here. He, William Regal's the... Ch uh, the ch he's a champion, right? Maybe we should fire back with a champion of our own. Maybe we take Bradshaw? Or maybe we take the Hurricane so we get the Cruiserweights on our show. You know what? Let's take the Hurricane. Let's take the Hurricane. I'm down with that. Get the Cruiserweights over on SmackDown. And that sounds good to me. Your boy's firing up the gates with the goods here. The Hurricane! And their Cruiserweight Championship goes to SmackDown. So this is his, what, ninth pick? And then we have our last picks coming up. For Raw to truly be Raw, I have to pick... Test, 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 test. <laughs> All right, so he's got he's got a big boy show. We got a more like uh, modern athletic kind of show. Here's the tenth pick in the Our last pick. This is the last pick for SmackDown. I made a careful decision. My last pick is Bradshaw still on the board. We could bring the Hardcore Championship over to SmackDown too. Mark Henry, Randy Raven would be a good pick. You know what? Just because I want the Hardcore Championship, let's bring Bradshaw on over, baby. Bring him on over. There we go. Bring the Hardcore Championship over to SmackDown. And Ric Flair. Vince just made a big mistake. He forgot about this person. My 10th pick is... <laughs> He's like, yes! Yes! Thank God! <laughs> Look how happy he is. He's so happy that he got picked. Top 10. So here are the final drafting boards. Lesnar, Rock, Kane, Booker T, Edge, Christian, Big Show, William Regal, Tess Rikishi, Kurt Angle, Rob Van Dam, Benoit, Jericho, Hardy, Guerrero, DDP, Hardy, Hurricane, Bradshaw. What do you guys think? What do you guys think?
I think we did pretty good. My, vi my vision was to make like a more modern, high work rate with a little bit of fun thrown in there too with the Hardcore Championship. That was kind of like my idea. And I think that's pretty solid. I think for, for what I wanted out of SmackDown, that's pretty damn good. Um, so we're on April 1st week, 2002. Let's check out all the rosters real quick. Uh, because it auto-picked the rest of them. So, let's see. Smack, uh, the Undisputed Champions on both shows. So we got Jericho, Hardy, Angle, Benoit, Bradshaw, Rob Van Dam, Bubba Ray, Chuck, Albert. Oh, we got Mark Henry, Scotty Too Hotty, Raven, we did get Raven, Billy Kidman, and Sean Stasiak. It's definitely an interesting little group here. We have Benoit and Guerrero. We have the Hardy Boys. The Un-Americans count as like 40. Billy and Chuck aren't even on the same damn roster. Deadly Boys aren't either. Oh, man. Okay. Um, titles. Can we change? Oh, no, we can't change it. It just kind of shows you who's joking. So, we have one, two, three, four. We have four championships on our show. We're running the championship game, baby. <laughs> we run the championship game. That's what I like to see. Okay. Well, that turned out pretty good. I'm happy with what we did. Let's go ahead and start this program and see what's popping here on the first week of SmackDown. Eddie Guerrero versus Scotty Too Hotty. Can I see what's on Raw? Nice. You can see what's on Raw. So Billy beat Al Snow. Booker T and Goldust beat Lance Storm and Christian. The Rock and Kane beat Undertaker and Brock Lesnar. And now we have Eddie versus Scotty Too Hotty. Okay. Let's get it underway. Let's see if we can win our first match on SmackDown. I love that draft thing. That was awesome. Today is the start of a new beginning in WWE history. WWE Sports Entertainment will be more exciting than ever, and we promise to bring you the new thrill and excitement straight to your television sets. This, this is going pretty fast, this text. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go that quick. All right. Let's keep it rolling, baby. Vince McMahon wants to come talk to Eddie Guerrero. Let's see what he's got to say. Oh, you finally made it. I can't believe you made me wait. So you think you're the man, eh? Well, I'm the one who lets you join this program. And you better listen to what I have to say. As long as you don't bite the hand that feeds you, I will think about giving you a title shot. Now that's all. Go out there and win the match, damn it. <laughs> Not for you, but for me. Okay, well, Vince, I mean, I heard the word title shot. And I mean, we're already like, this is our first match. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's head up. No, we don't want to do anything with that. Yeah, DDP and the Hurricane. That's an interesting tag team. Eddie versus Scotty Too Hotty. Yes, I would love to play this match. Let's head on in, baby. Backstage. <laughs> we had backstage and SmackDown shut your mouth. <laughs> Down circle pins the opponent. Yeah, I know. Yeah, baby. Y'all weren't ready for this. Let's see, uh, see if we can hit that frog splash. I wonder if Sky Too High has got that OP entrance. My man's wilding out or not. Woo! Bring out Scotty Too Hotty and let's see what's going down. Oh! Bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it. He's wilding out! Yeah! He ain't got the hat, though. You got to give him the hat. That's like the best part. So Scotty Too Hotty is going to come down here without a hat and some what, <laughs> some jeans. <laughs> Woo-hoo! My man. Sorry, I got to beat you, but, you know, you had a good run. Let me tell you that much. You had a good run. Hey, Scotty. Woo! I thought, yo, look at my man's stance. That's brutal. He wants to go outside the ring. Oh, okay. I thought we were going outside the ring. I was like, what the world? There we go. Get him on the floor a little bit. He ain't gonna mess with Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, I got all the moves. I got, I'm, not, I'm a technical beast. 
when I was drafting everything, I wish it kind of showed me the overalls because I had no idea what everybody's attributes were. <laughs> I was just picking wrestlers that I like really liked back in the day, and I thought would fit kind of like uh, what what I want for what would I want from SmackDown. Here we go, Suplex! Damn, that's a brain buster. Good lord. What? <laughs> Yo, I thought I was about to say, we're about to beat Scotty Too Hotty right here. Oh, sorry, buddy. I love how stanced up Scotty is. Like, he has, he has a, a, an awkward stance compared to everybody else. I love that. Yo! That was lit! That was like almost James Storm's finish. Oh, my God! Earl! Yeah, how did Earl not even sell that, guys? This man's a savage. Oh, we pulled the tights, too? We pull the damn tights. Oh, no. Nah. Look at that stance. I'm telling you. That's, that's so cool. Off the ropes you go, Scotty. Uh-oh. There we go. Kick him while he's on the ground a little bit. We got another brain buster. You damn right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my God. I thought we had a vertebraker as a regular move, bro. I was about to say, Eddie Guerrero, I didn't know Eddie Guerrero was OP. Let's do this move again. Look at this, look at this move. That's crazy. We got moves you never seen before. Oh, he paused. Oh, well, I was waiting for you to pause. I knew what you were doing before you even did it yourself. Hey, Scotty. What was that on commentary? <laughs> Whoa! You're not slick, homie. How do I break this up? I knew I wasn't gonna I knew that wasn't gonna work. Here we go, another Oh, I'd snap suplex. Wait a minute, we're going up to the top. It's time. Oh, we got a little 360. Viva la Raza, baby! One, two, three. And that's all she wrote for Scotty Too Hotty. You knew you didn't have a chance, my man. I respect you coming out here and trying to fight Eddie Guerrero, but you you knew. You knew in your heart of hearts that that was the end of that. Let's see what Vince has got to say about that. Jericho and Angle teamed up against Bubba Ray Dudley and Jeff Hardy. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It was a four-man battle royal. Okay. That, that makes a little more sense. I was going to say, why did they team up? They just randomly teamed up for no reason. Yeah, baby. Let's go ahead and do the uh, second week, too, and see if Vince wants to maybe give us that title shot. I mean, we beat Scotty Tuati. That's one of the biggest people on site. Uh, you know I Yo, Farouk. A six-man tag main event with Al Snow and Maven. Okay. And we have a cage match with Rob Van Dam and Chris Ben. Well, I think SmackDown's must watch this week, people. And we have Raven, Scotty Tuati, and Sean Stasiak in a hardcore triple threat. <laughs> yeah, I think we won that one. Pretty easily. I think uh, SmackDown's taking over the ratings for this week. Sorry, Raw. You had a, you had a chance. You just, you know, it wasn't good enough. Shouts out to the SmackDown Fist Arena, cuz. Let's see. Is Vince McMahon going to approach us backstage? I know he's... Oh, he's not. Okay. Well, let's walk around for a little bit see what we can do back here. Is this, uh, is this to the arena? Yeah, that's to the arena. Anything else we can do back here? Look for a blue truck. Yo, what's going on back here? Is this Jazz? Jazz? What are, you, are you on this roster? Are the women on this roster, period? Dot, dot, dot. Uh, hey, Jazz. It, this is really awkward, Jazz. Are you going to say something to me? Or... <laughs> are you in a bad mood or something? Dot, dot, dot. All right, man. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, well, that was a great conversation. I can see that uh, Jazz is very charismatic. Has a lot going on here. Let's see. What is this, a locker room? What's back here in the locker room? Maybe a mamacita? We tried to talk to Jazz, but she ain't about that life, so. Uh, nobody. There's a rock poster, but nobody was in the locker room. That sucks. Let's see. See if anybody else is back. What is that? Oh my. Oh, this is like shop zone. And that's the arena. There was an area to go downstairs. There it is. 
downstairs is like the boiler room and stuff. Is Kane gonna be in there? Is Kane gonna be in the boiler room? He's just he's just on both shows as long as you go in the boiler room. It's like a connection between two shows. Hello? Anybody down here? Jeez, you can go just anywhere you want. Hello? It's me, Eddie Guerrero. Whoa, what is it? We are we gonna go all the way outside? Is anybody hit? Oh! <laughs> we gotta hit the sprint. We're gonna go outside and see what was going down outside. Hey, we in the streets. Look at all these fans out here. No one's out here, though. No. I thought someone would be creeping out here. We did find Jazz, but I guess that don't matter. Uh, maybe I should have asked her about Trish Stratus, even though I think she would have hit me with the triple dots either way. Jazz just didn't seem like she wanted to talk to Eddie Guerrero. She's just not about that. Okay. Oh, we're the first match on the card. Farouk stepping up to the plate. Sounds good to me. Let's go. I don't know what Farouk's going to do without Bradshaw, but who knows? Maybe we're just, this is like a stepping stone thing for Eddie Guerrero to get to that championship. Look at that OG rock render. I swear I see that render everywhere. Yeah, baby. It's your boy, Latino Heat Eddie Guerrero. Does he just fruit? Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> he kind of he kind of pulled a Roman Reigns. Just took the theme song. My boy. All right, Farouk, let's get this underway. Suck a man. See what we can do here. Yeah, we're going to go straight for a snap suplex. We ain't going to let you breathe. Here we go. Look like we're, I swear we should just drop him in a vertebraker. That would make that crazy. Whoop! What you got, Farouk? There we go. Hit him with a little leg lariat gimmick. Look at this. Look at that. That's Bailey's move. Whoa, but tripping up over ourselves a little bit. Tonight is going to be yeah. <laughs> Check out Farouk a little bit. Stand him up, see what we can get done here. Brain buster action. Bop. I love that that's uh, one of his regular moves. That's awesome. Here we go, a little Frankensteiner. Farouk ain't know what he got himself into. I mean, all Farouk's got to do is hit us with some of those uh, little, little clotheslines, little power slams. I mean, there we go. See, like I was saying, he knows what he's doing. He's a power dude. We're just a little agile dude. Oh, here we go. Drop him. Into an arm bar. Brian Danielson-esque right there, baby. Oh, wow. Did you see how quick you get up for a strike in this game? That's wild. Fruit getting buried, though. I got your boy down pat. Try to fight back for Rook. It ain't going to work. Because I got that arm. Oh, I got the frog splash. Oh, crap. Oh, well. <laughs> Look how quick you get up. It's crazy. All right, let's go up. Here we go, baby. Let's go. Bam. Five star. Oh, come on. My man's getting lucky. We hit the high fly flow, brother. Yeah, we got some brain busters on deck. You want to kick out? That ain't no problem. Yo, my man's laid out like a mattress. Oh, here we go. Farouk gonna fire back, but no, look how quick I get up. That's crazy. The agility, the speed. My man's won't expecting it. Now we're gonna choke you out, yeah. Give up. Here we go. Oh, good Lord, big old German. Oh, man, my man's about to lose. Oh, you thought I was going for the frog splash, eh? Uh-uh. I need to move you. There we go. There we go. He's too close to the... There we go. We had to get him towards the center of the ring. He's too close to the ropes. Going up, and here we go! And 
that's all she wrote for Farouk. Thanks for coming. We would like that title opportunity ASAP. ASAP. Because your boy's running through the entire roster. How many more people you got left for Eddie Guerrero? Woo! Sure, boy. Damn, Farouk laid out. Sorry, man. I, look, you should have. If you would have just lost to the first <laughs> frog splash, it wouldn't have gone like it did. But I had to bring up the next one. You know what I mean? It just kind of happened. It just kind of happened. It is what it is. All right, guys. I think that's a good place to end this. I want to thank you guys for watching. We did the draft. We got two weeks in. We won both of our matches against Scotty Tuati and Farouk. I hope that you enjoyed. Remember, if you did, leave that thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed for more of that goody goody. And I will see you guys next time. See you.